can you have grungy pastels? Today's video, I wanted to share my favorite palettes that I have used from my collection that I plan to focus on in the upcoming weeks for fall. So if that sounds like something you wanna see, just keep watching. I did keep it limited to this storage container that I got from like TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something like that, but there are more than eight, even though there's eight slots. <laughs> Let's get into the palettes. So I want to start off with a couple of the newer palettes first. If I have any videos on these, which I do have videos with like probably half of these. So I'll leave those listed down below in the description box. Be sure to check down there if you're interested in checking out any of the looks that I may have created and shared with you already. So let me start off with one of the newer palettes. And that is the Tarte Maneater After Dark. This is what the palette looks like. It's really beautiful. I think this palette is an absolute smash hit from Tarte for this holiday season, especially for fall looks. All of these palettes can work year round. Makeup can be worn at any time. The next palette that I wanna share with you is a palette that I recently tried for the very first time. Finally, this is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This is what the palette looks like. I do want to create some more looks with this, but I have played with this once and I have a video with that. So here is a palette that is a little bit older. I've played with it a couple of times last season when I first got it. I think it is discontinued by now. I'm not really sure. But if you have this in your collection or if you have some similar color stories in your collection, you know, maybe we can create some unique and fun looks with these kinds of colors. This color story, here it is up close. It's a little like dusty and it's like a dusty light, almost pastel version of our murky palette. <laughs> Can you have grungy pastels? I feel like this is, yeah, that's, that's how I would describe this palette. I would describe this palette as grungy pastels. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to create some fun looks with it this season. I didn't really enjoy it the first couple of times that I played with it last year, to be honest with you, and I almost decluttered it. So I'm gonna see if I can enjoy it more this year, and if not, this might be on the chopping block. Another new one. I really, really like this palette. It's not completely unique by any means, but it is really beautiful and I have enjoyed all of the looks that I've created with it so far. I do plan on filming another look with it coming up. Definitely going to be using this palette a lot for fall. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream palette, part of her My Dream collection that recently released for holiday. Okay, and here is another palette that I finally I only got a hold of and got my hands into and started to develop some thoughts. This is actually the palette that I'm wearing today. I did not film this look, but um, yeah, I was just sitting down playing with the palette after I had created my first impressions video with this yesterday. So just playing with it a little bit more, getting to know the palette a little further before I film my next video, which is gonna be a multiple looks, one palette video with this Bronze Seduction by Pat McGrath. Can't remember which number release this was, but yeah, this one seems to be like the most popular and it was the one that I, well, <laughs> I shared my thoughts with you in that video that I uploaded with this. So just check that out if you're interested in hearing my full opinion on this, but I'm gonna focus on this palette a little bit more during the upcoming fall season. And here's another oldie but a goodie. It's not that old, but you know, this is from last year. And this is the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. This was a really, really good holiday release from Too Faced last year. I know the color story isn't that revolutionary, especially not for Too Faced. <laughs> it does look very similar to a lot of their other palettes, but that's neither here nor there. This is still a very good performing palette. The color story is really fall and like on point for this time of year, in my opinion. I want to get some more use out of it before it expires really soon and just really give it the love that it deserves because I really, really enjoyed the packaging. I want to get some more use out of this one. I really like it. Let me know down below if you want me to share any of those looks with these. Another older palette, but I picked it up recently, like a couple months ago, recently when it re-released. I'm talking about the Melt 
Gemini palette. This is the original color story, but in the second waves packaging. And this is what this palette looks like. I want to create some more looks out of this and just see what kind of versatility I can get just because it is so dark and like deep and murky and grungy. So I feel like that's going to push me out of my comfort zone to see, you know, how can I get creative within that range of shades. Okay, and here's another one of the more recent releases. This was a summer release from ABH. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. This was released this this summer. If you take the purple out of the palette, that like wisteria shade, I really like a periwinkle color. I really feel like this is the perfect fall palette. It's got really great varieties of like oranges and greens and browns and a little bit of gold, a little bit of a peachy fire tint to it. And I really enjoy the looks that I've created with this so far. I want to get some more use out of this, so I am going to be focusing on it. But honestly, it, like this is also great for spring. I can see me using this possibly even in the summer because of those like peachy orange shades. This is a year round palette for sure. But I mean, all of these are, I've already said that, but I'm gonna focus on it really heavily in the upcoming weeks and just try to explore some more of the fall looks that I can create with it. Last but not least, this is an older palette, okay? I've only played with it like once or twice. And although this is a cult favorite among many, especially many of the ABH fans, okay? That's a hint right there of what it is. <laughs> Even though it is a cult favorite, I haven't really enjoyed any of the looks that I've created with it so far, but I was trying to use it more in like the spring and summer when I had gotten it on like final clearance and it was about to leave the website. So glad that I ended up picking it up when I did. So I had a hunch and if I would have waited any longer, I would have missed my chance to own it brand new because I haven't seen it come up in, in like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anything like that either. So all that being said, let me reveal the final palette that I want to share with you that I plan to focus on for fall. That is the Jackie Ina palette by ABH. Look at that beautiful packaging. Okay, so if you... If you take a good look at my palette, you can see that I've hardly touched it. I have used it a couple of times, but I really look at this color story and I think the depth of tones really just screams fall and more possibly even winter to me, just because it's like a little bit deeper and darker without being grungy. It's not like a grungy color story, but it is like a darker color story, like, you know, a more bejeweled more like jewel tone you know like richer in hue and so I really associate that with fall for some reason probably because all the leaves go from green to all these beautiful rich hues and I kind of see some of that in this palette so I want to explore that palette and see if I end up loving it oh I almost missed one the final I got it here hidden right there the final palette that I do want to share with you is this Pat McGrath Little Miniature Midnight Voyage Palette. It's a small palette. Ooh, there went the plastic. <laughs> it's a small palette, but she's mighty, okay? I know it doesn't look like much, okay? This purple is really beautiful. And um, this one right here, this like peachy looking shade on the eye, it's really fiery and orange. And so like really this gives me orange, pumpkin, purpley um, kind of Halloween vibes. And then you've got that like beautiful rich brown in there. I, yeah, I really like this palette and I think it's gonna be great for like a smaller palette. So this is the last palette that I wanna focus on a little bit more. This doesn't mean these are the only palettes I'm gonna be using in the upcoming weeks, but I do want to try to focus on some of these palettes and create looks with them. I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday, so you can look forward to that. And yeah, let me know down below, what are some of the palettes you plan to focus on for fall? I love to hear about everybody's eyeshadow palettes and their favorites and their preferences. And um, sometimes I learn about new brands and stuff. So yeah, it's really fun. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.